Building a stronger financial foundation? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. You'll learn how the tools in your financial plan reinforce each other to help you minimize taxes and offset potential risks. Grow your confidence by strengthening your finances today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is a Bramble Jam podcast. We're on? Yeah, we're on right, right now. Is this, a, this, uh, is, you this is it right now? Show. Yeah, this okay, is it. We're yeah. on this. We're, uh, I'm Bran. I'm Br- are, we're going? Michael, you're going? Are you good? Are you I, rolling? If I just talk, you'll hear me. And, and yes. I, and just look yep. at the Not even a delay. You, you're give, me a, right give me a you quick one. Great. Count to 10 real quick. One. Three. That's great. You're great. Um, I'm, good. Uh, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan. I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. <laughs> I'm Michael, and I am oft in Christmas movies. And, and this, this is, is the Deck, Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Flawless. This is thrilling. That intro was flawless. It was flawless. Listen, we've been doing this. This is our fourth season. It's like just uh, riding a bike. Well, what's wild is, is we never get it flawless, but beforehand, Rady was nice enough to give us some pointers. Yeah. And that really, I think that smoothed it on out. I think it, everything was so good. And you guys took my notes, and I, it was really cool watching you try to get there. And you were so close, <laughs> and it was exciting for me to see you guys trying so hard. Um, so kudos again to you. We, I, I thanks, feel like buddy. We may have asked that. this, Michael, in all seriousness, have you ever decided to talk about directing, thought about directing? Is that something you want to do or are you just happy to act and just chill? Uh, no, I would, I, I would love to direct. I think I would just have to um, feel strongly about, about whatever the project is that I would be directing. I, I, I'm not interested in just jumping into a random episode of something on television. I, would, I think directors put so much work and so much time into creating this this I, that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in putting all of that work and time into creating this movie or whatever it is that lasts a very long time. Um, it's a big, it's a big time input to direct a movie. So, and uh, so, as it stands, you really love collaborating, giving it all, working with everybody, and then getting to go home and just seeing how it turns out later. That's kind I mean, of nice. Yes, absolutely. I have, I have four four little ones at home right now. So, four. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, I get to right now. It's it, it, that would be a big commitment to dedicate nine months to directing a movie or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I have a good right now. If I get you're to, into that kind of thing, I guess. If yeah. you're into that kind of thing, uh-huh. um, <laughs> Michael. So happy that you're here. You're not in a Hallmark Christmas movie that this year, but that doesn't matter. We wanted to have you because the people matter. the people demanded it. They said yes. mm-hmm. they said make sure you get Rady back on here. You're a, you're a crowd favorite here. You are a crowd Hallmark favorite on Deck to yes. Hallmark. Consistently, Thanks. I mean, I got the, when you guys sent the messenger to my house with the thing. I I, <laughs> I, I, I got that from yeah, you. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. And, it was a singing um, telegram. It was a singing I, telegram, if I'm not mistaken. We did a full song was, for you. Was, did, okay. With the, yeah, with the whole suit and everything. It was <laughs> Do you want to know what's what's crazy? Is uh, we did get a Rady movie this year. With New Year's resolution. That's true. Now, we did. We did get a Rady movie this now, year. Now, I know that's <laughs> wild for you because you're years removed from that movie, but it did it premiere out, this year. Yeah, back when I was in fifth grade, I made that movie. <laughs> was, was that technically 2021? Yeah. It came mm-hmm. out uh, like the second week of November. I'm sorry. Oh, January. Uh, January. January. It wasn't the first. <laughs> it wasn't the first week of January. And it wasn't uh, on New Year's. It was uh, just mid-January. You know what's wild, Michael, is that anytime Hallmark, you know, in the old regime, in the Bill Abbott regime, anytime they would pull a movie and hold it, you would be like all right that movie's a clunker like it's really really bad mm-hmm. and so i was kind of in my head thinking this movie I, I felt bad like i was already like girirding my loins for watching a bad michael rady movie i was like this must be really bad and it wasn't bad it wasn't like bad it was like, like you and amy t garden were really good a in that delight movie. like why did they why did they keep holding on to it and not just release the dang thing I think, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know how much i'm allowed to just i don't know that much but uh, i heard that it was something about like there was a bank for fraud storyline and so that was a little oh. um, not like on on brand or something so and, bill and thought that was too negative yeah. essentially perhaps yeah he didn't want to we don't need to see that let's just we just want to see joy and peace and but i you know i, I it's it's really i think <laughs> not nitpicking but it's okay yeah i guess it's 
Sure, I see the point, but when the regime change happened, it was like, yeah, yeah. go, 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 go. It was a delight. The yeah, two, it was two, wonderful. Two, two people it. just bring in, bringing it in, and they're just so delightful. Mm -hmm. um, I was I really brought down by the bank story, Yeah, the bank. Though. I got yeah, really yeah, depressed like, I went that, into a yeah. pretty, like, severe pretty depression. Uh, if I want to uh, watch stuff about Bernie Madoff, I'll go yeah, watch some Dom Michael, gosh. Uh, Michael, I want to know... Um, you know, since you haven't made a, a homework movie in a little bit of time, have you been keeping up with all that's been going on with the new regime and the GAC and Bill and all that stuff? Do you are you in the weeds like we are, or, or do you, you need have no clue what we're talking about? No, I really don't. Honestly, I have a I have a you know four four little ones, and one of them is seven months old. So I've really been in a bit of all, and I've been back and forth to Chicago for a lot of this time. So I, I'm I, I'm a bit I've been in a hole pretty much. So yeah, if you're you're welcome. We can burn. We can burn tape right now and you can update me. <laughs> uh, I would just say probably whatever you uh, would assume uh, is happening uh, is probably happening. Whatever that means to you, it's probably happening. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They, I got to be honest. We, I know we have a movie to discuss. They, and this could, I, I am going to get, people are just going to rain on me for not knowing this information. They film all of those Chicago shows in Chicago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just assumed Chicago Fire, PD, Med. Are, I just assumed they were filmed in some similar. Are they running out of buildings to light on fire? Like, uh, how? Are they, like, they filmed Chicago Med, which you're on, guys. <laughs> Check out Chicago Med, ten episodes. They film it in the city of Chicago, right, right in the middle, right in the middle of the city. Chicago Med is great because they built. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, so much has to happen in the hospital. The workplace is in the hospital, and so most of they, yeah, I think. They shoot about one day an episode on location, whereas Chicago PD or Chicago Fire, it's all pretty much. It's it's probably the opposite. So Chicago is it's 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 get, it's, it's blustery. Um, uh, yeah. You know, in, the, in the second half of the season, and so Med or um, Sh Chicago Fire and PD are they're out on the streets of Chicago filming most of their episodes for half of their season, and that is just. That's brutal. brutal. Yes. Um, yeah. That's, but that, Med that, is pretty much all on. They even re, now with COVID, they rebuilt the main hospital, um, like uh, foyer or whatever the, the the hospital entryway. They rebuilt that on a huge soundstage. So, and we it's just the hours are dialed in. We don't have to deal with all kind of weird hours with certain locations and things. And uh, it's a great place to work. And they're wonderful people. And yeah, the whole Chicago One is what they call it now. The, it, the Chicago One universe. Wow. It's all one That's universe. So cool. Like, do, so do the characters yeah, they cross kind over. of go, yeah. go. crossovers? Tons of crossovers. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, no one's doing that. That doesn't happen on television. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Med's really cool. Chicago Med's really cool because Dick Wolf, um, he was the first one who decided to put a um, a mental health expert, a, a psychiatrist, in the in the cast or you know in, in the storyline. So every episode there's a mental health um, storyline as well, which is that's a first for a hospital show. And it's just it's such unmined territory, and it is so ripe and uh, refreshing to see. And uh, Oliver Platt plays plays that role he's so good. oliver platt is amazing he's on he's, chicago med he's on chicago med it, um everyone everyone he paid the um the the main guy everyone it's a wonderful group of people and uh thanks for having me guys yeah. <laughs> <That's> absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I i just i'm ranting i, I love what's going on right now though with your cardigan like the way that the collar in the back is it's starting to pop if yeah. you sit if you sit back the shadow makes it look like you got a mullet going on that's right which yeah. is just a good look i, I love, love it, it. and look. i think I that should be your 2020 uh 2022 resolution I'm getting, close to it. I'm getting close to a mullet here hey, that ain't bad you are. that ain't bad dare to I'm dream not afraid. i'm not afraid of a mullet. I know it sounds like that this has all just been Michael, you know, doing some just bit work for Chicago Med and stuff, but <laughs> I got to give like, you know, broadcast network procedurals another chance. It's a show made by Dick Wolf with Oliver Platt and Michael Rady in it. That cannot help but be good. Like legitimately. I mean with crossover also, there's some great there's some great people on it. It's yeah. And you love a good crossover. I love a good crossover. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's genius. It's genius. It's genius. You don't see yeah. it coming because you're like, I've seen this in some uh, some other place, and then they're there right before. It's like it's like <laughs> when a friend comes to your home for the first time, you just don't even know. <laughs> so all the context. Wait a second. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. You see it. But you you're at my it. house. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's so are, cool. are you? Um. Again, I, uh, I apologize for my naivete. Um. In this regard, are you a doctor? 
in the show? I'm a doctor, yeah. I so mean, give no, me a I'm quick, a like, give me I a quick, like, 20 cc's of uh, Pepto, like, whatever you <laughs> would say. Okay, um, <laughs> get them on an intracuramine drip and use dexmedetomidine instead of propofol. Wow. That was oh. one. Wow. Get them on an intracuramine drip and use dexmedetomidine instead of propofol. I mean, I can barely say it right now, but I had to say that the other day. That was now, wow. now, let me ask you this. You get to say lines like that. Do you, are you the type of person that before you... Uh, kind of became a doctor for a TV show. You you studied. You kind of tried to learn some of the stuff that you would be communicating, so you actually knew what you were talking about. I yeah, well, I mean yes, I do. I do when I'm prepping for like a scene like that for any scene, and there's there's language in it um, that's very hard. I mean that that could be it's a, it's another language. The, the, those yeah. whatever I just said is another language, and so I do um, I do research all of it, so I know I, it brings a context, so it helps me remember it. And, and I can never tell someone in this, oh, you should get some h curamine right now. But <laughs> I, in the context of that scene that I forget now, but I, I, it made sense to me and which helps me um, be there and be, be real and present. Mm. And hopefully brings, you know, if it brings a sliver more truth to it that I, I, there's, you know, some understanding and awareness behind the words instead of just um, the jargon. What uh, I hear you saying is that I no longer have to call nine one one when something happens to me. I can call, just call, call my call, call my boy. Say, hey, buddy, what are you? <laughs> You're gonna make me try dexamethasone. <laughs> what about your I was Talking to a family member yesterday, and and my 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 one cousin is is he has his ear is swollen, and my 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 cousin was she was like, yeah, I'm worried about. She's a, a, a nurse practitioner. But I'm like texting things like, look, you might want to, I mean, <laughs> don't, don't mess with that. Let's get him on some high grade antibiotic. Let's just go to the urgent care. Oh, he's got bowel. Sick. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the antibiotics going to wreak havoc on his, his digestion, but it's working like this is primary. You got, if, if your body's telling you, I did have this weird sort of um, undeserved like confidence with medical, like just leave, she's a nurse practitioner. She's yeah. seen, she's got it. Than imagine. Leave it alone, Michael. Yeah, that's fantastic. I think she I gotta dive into the Chicago world. No I kidding, think we should. I think is what I gotta do. You want Chicago thought it? A Chicago thought. That's a lot of episodes, guys. Before no. you say that out loud, episodes, but. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. What if we went to Chicago for the Chicago thon? Ooh, it's a Chicago boy. Chicago thon. No. Chicago squared thon. Oh my god. Yeah. Squared thon. <laughs> we'll we'll work it out. We just spend the... all summer there. Um, yeah, please. Um, we're talking five more minutes, which, uh, is a Nikki DeLoach movie. You uh, joined us last year for Cranberry Christmas, Nikki DeLoach movie. Yeah. And I just kind of want to keep this tradition going where you ready uh, reviews uh, Nikki DeLoach. One movie. of these days right. it's going to, the movie's going to be real bad. And you're just going to have to, you're going to have to man up and just be like, Nikki just didn't bring it. I gotta be honest. <laughs> there's no world where he'll ever, I, I can't. But the other thing is, is this is why he wants to do this movie because he knows that Nikki always brings it. Yeah. He'll never have to. Yep. She always does it. And if she, if she phoned it in, I think I, I think I'd be able to be like, ah, you know what? She, she wasn't, she's <laughs> all right. I love I don't, it. I don't, I, I, I know how much she cares about her. She craft. doesn't have the I'll ability to phone it in. She can't do it's it. It's not possible. Guys, no. it's not going to happen. You can just leave right now. If that's what you're waiting. That's for. right. Mm. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Five more <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Wish I had what me a you? pause button. <laughs> It was a good song. It was a bop there at that the song's end. song's catchy. It's a catchy little tune it's there, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Five more minutes. Are you guys, a country, are you country guy? Book? I know. I'm not. I, 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 sure, I, I, I'll listen to it, but I, I don't have a, a, a working knowledge of, a vast working knowledge yeah, I, of country. And I'm, I know we're, at this point, we're, we're kind of putting people into, into buckets, but you asked a vegan from Philadelphia that currently lives in Connecticut if he's a country music <laughs> fan. Well, hey, the that, the odds... <laughs> That, that's eclectic, right? I'm a vegan from Philly. That's incongruous. Yeah. And I, live in I was in California. I'm in Connecticut. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mosaic. That's right. Like, <laughs> but if you also incongruous. like country music, that's a Venn diagram. Just it's a circle, right? It's just, like, it's just yeah, you. That, that, exactly. It's just you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just you. Sure. I can listen. I mean, a good country tune. I, who, I'm not going to, I'm not prejudiced against, um, how can I lay a blanket statement across a, a wide swath of music like that? But There's you don't seek it out. Don't you don't seek out country no. music. <sighs> if I'm like in a certain mood in the kitchen making breakfast or lunch for the kids and they're sitting at the island, I'll put on some Rascal Flats and just kind of <laughs> let, them, let them have it. Does that qualify as country music? I, think I, I sang back up for Shania Twain once when she was in Philadelphia when I was in high school. You what? sang back up for Shania Twain? There you go. How about that? You yeah, didn't. I did. I did. We came in and um, I, I, 
I forget why and how it all happened, but I remember getting a call from a friend of mine um, and her mom was organized something for the big spectrum or whatever. The, yeah, the, the big uh, venue down in downtown uh, in South Philly. And Shania Twain concert was coming to town and they needed a group of like of, of, of students to come in and sing um, some background pieces for a couple of her songs. And we did it. We got to go in there, rehearse and then like the full arena lights flat it looked like fireworks from the audience there were so many flash bulbs going off and um yeah she was just rocking in front of us for the, this is why awesome. we have to have michael on more often <laughs> yep. like i just don't you we, we bring him get. on to review a movie and it's wonderful he's charming and great but we just need a, an hour and a, we need a 90 minute block of asking Michael Rady questions because it always goes somewhere you never think it's going to go. I think it needs it's a, qu a quarterly appointment. A quarterly thing that we do every <laughs> year. With the I, I just it's Take just it too good. The Rady. We'll work that in. We'll work that in. I, I mean, love we talked about nothing we were supposed to talk about today. That's so right. We could always talk about five more minutes next week. Yeah, yeah that's there true. you go. That's give fun. me give me a really quick before I dive into this. Give me some uh, harmony uh, that don't impress me much. <laughs> Oh, that's not going to happen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> that don't impress me much. It's like a totally different version. It's yeah, great. That, it's great. <laughs> okay, so you're Michael Rady. <laughs> don't impress, that me, don't impress me much. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what that does to our country music conversation. So I do have a little street cred, but yeah. I kind of blow it out. Like I'm from Philly, but I don't follow Philly sports. So yeah. it's, it's again, it's, it's confusing. Yeah. No, no. Listen, well, you're an anomaly. There's, there's yin and yang there. Yeah, there is. Shania is not going to sing by herself. Uh, five more minutes. Um, originally aired on November 20th, 2021. And it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with little Clara, who is her, uh, who's with her grandpa, eating candy canes and wishing on stars. Her wish to spend every Christmas with her grandpa. Cut to present day. An adult Clara is an elementary school art teacher and is one of many teachers of the years that this school has. I'm a little foggy in those details, but nevertheless, she's good at her job, apparently. And she has a boyfriend named Blake who also works at the school, and uh, they're going to go out for uh, dinner. And uh, at dinner, he's getting all serious and fidgety and stuff. And uh, you're like, oh, is he on drugs? No, he's not. He pulls out a, a box and he accidentally drops it. It's a ring box. She sees it. She's thrown off by this. And she decides, I'm going to pivot this conversation by opening up my mail. Uh, so she pulls out some mail, <laughs> rips open the envelope, and it turns out she's getting laid off. So I don't know what's worse, getting proposed to by Blake or getting laid off. I think it might be a draw for the evening. Um, it's her first Christmas without her grandpa, and she decides to go home to help her mom with the candy store. And uh, she goes to a Christmas tree lot in town and bumps into a fellow named Logan. They clearly have a past. Uh, and he tells her that he's back from active duty and is going to be living here now that he's in the reserves. Good for him. Uh, Clara is really missing her grandpa and decides to wish for five more minutes with five him. Five more minutes. Pause button. <laughs> then a, uh, a, a, guy, a guy named Jay shows up and uh, she, after, right after she puts out a help wanted sign in the window. And he's like, the old store owner said that I could work here during the holiday season. And she's like, do you have any like... You have a resume? Or he's like, he's told me I was good. She's like, good enough for me. Um, his job, essentially, from what I gather, is to like organize and clean the back room. And in the process, finds an old journal, gives that journal to Clara. Turns out that journal belonged to her grandpa when he was a, a teenager. And he was in love with a woman named Martha, who Clara had never heard about. Grandma's name's not Martha. Who's this Martha? Um, she tells Logan about this journal, and they read it together. And uh, then they talk about their past and how she was hurt when he left uh, for the service. And how, uh, you know, I never, like wanted to hear from you and never heard from you, blah, blah, blah. Um, as they read the journal, it turns out there's a lot of parallels between their story and the story in the journal. Um, and in the process, she's clearly uh, redeveloping feelings for Logan. What about Blake, you ask? Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, after a night of reading the journal with Logan, uh, Claire decides to call Blake with the intention of breaking off. But it goes to voicemail, and it says uh, she's basically like, we need to talk. So writing's on the wall there, pal. Uh, Clara finds an unsent letter from her grandpa to Martha, and um, basically she's like, I got to find this woman. I got to give her this letter. So um, she teams up with Logan to go and find uh, this Martha, 
uh, goes to every possible Martha in town and can't find her. But luckily, this one woman has the same name <laughs> as the Martha, the exact same name. And so she gets mail. And she, and she knows, she the knows address. her address. She knows the address. Yeah. So they go there, and uh, they're waiting for her because she's not there, sitting on the stoop. And they're having some serious conversation. He's like, hey, bad news. Bad news, baby. Um, I got a call. I got to go back into active duty. She's real bummed out there. She just leaves the, leaves the letter. And uh, she, she leaves. I gotta, you got to bring me home. Um, at one point, um, uh, Blake shows up, and they break up. So that's too bad for him. Uh, Martha shows up and uh, at the house and says, hey, I got your letter. And um, fun fact, I, I actually reconnected with him before he died. We were writing some letters. Uh, we were going to meet, but then he passed. And um, so it was so great to get this, uh, this letter. And here is um, um, some pictures of, uh, of your grandpa when he was uh, younger. Um, she goes to the candy store and she's feeling real bummed about the whole thing with Logan and uh, is really just uh, missing her grandpa. And Jay shows up and they talk about love. And then he says, I'm leaving. My work here is done. And he walks out, and I think like on his way out, he turns on a toy train. I'm not sure, but the train starts to move, pushes her purse off the table, which causes photos to then stumble out. And um, she looks at the photos, and she realizes that Jay is her grandfather as a teenager. What? Mm. Uh, we get a montage of young Jay and Martha set to five more, more minutes. minutes. And um, she runs out of the store and she starts yelling for Jay. Jay, come back, Grandpa, thing type of situation. She's real emotional. And she says, I promise I'll never let love go again. As the snow falls down, she goes to find Logan. She's like, I love you. I'm not going to let you go again. And he's like, well, the good news is, is I'm sticking around because I guess I'm going to, uh, they want me here in North Carolina, which is just awesome. Uh, they kiss. And now my friends was five, five more minutes. minutes. Wow. We did it. That was great. I could have you wow. do that synopsis for five more minutes. I oh, loved it. You, gosh. you did it. such a great job. Thank you, buddy. Do um, you guys want to take a quick break? We'll if come I back. If I could yeah, have yeah. five more minutes, I think I'd go back and listen to that again. That's wow. Yeah. Guys, this is so nice. Yeah. You guys are never this nice. <laughs> I'm gonna, Brady just, you guys are nicer when Brady's around. Brady, it's <laughs> contagious. He it's brings contagious. out the best in us. Right. Uh, let's oh, take a quick break and we'll. I'm uh, exhausted. Let's take a break. Yeah, let, yeah. We'll talk about some uh, stuff when we get back, okay. but uh, we got to hear from some sponsors yes, first. Of course. Here on Deck the Homer. Yeah. Coming in hot. Hey, Brady, what do you know about bras? <laughs> I mean, I think I think it goes on. I think I think we all know everything about bras. right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the one thing I know is that they're tough to shop for, aren't they? They are. They, well, yes. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that's what we were all thinking. They're very of course. tough to shop for. They're not they're, anymore, though. Not anymore no. because of third love. I know you know about third love, but for the people out there that might not know about third love, third love has made it easy for you to find the perfect bra for you. It's all about no that more quiz. wondering. Mm. No more wondering. Is this going to work? Is it going to work? They have a quiz that helps you find the perfect bra. They send it to you and if for some reason it doesn't work you send it right back and they will make it right that's exactly what happened mm. with my wife my wife did the quiz they sent her a bra it wasn't quite right and third love went above and beyond to make sure that she received the perfect bra um so many people have done this uh it's over, helped over 18 million women find their true bra size which is phenomenal and um the the fun thing is is when you they they have this partnership where they donate some uh, bras to people in need they've they've donated over Forty million dollars worth of bras to people in need, Fantastic. which is uh, and even uh, heal injured turtles, which is a throw in here. And I do have questions. Maybe I could talk wow. to the Third Love crew about wow. uh, that. But the turtles, guys, um, help turtles find the perfect bra for you uh, by going to thirdlove.com/deck. That's going to give you twenty percent off your first order. That is thirdlove.com/deck. T H I R D love dot com slash deck. Twenty percent off from Third Love today. And don't forget the entire season of Deck the Homework is brought to you by Philo, the perfect place to watch all of your made-for-TV Christmas movies. Hallmark, Homer Movies and Mysteries, uh, Up, Lifetime, Gak, they got it all. Philo.tv slash DTH for 25% off That's two right. months. It's unbelievable. Philo.tv slash DTH. We're back, everybody. I'm sorry. I know we have things to do. Mm -hmm. Turtles? I don't know. What? I, I mean, what? That's a Venn diagram, if I've ever seen. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't. That's new. I was unaware. 
I just don't think you guys get it. I don't think I don't. Do. Did you know, Michael, we eat I a didn't. did you know we eat a credit card a week in plastic? Did you know that? No. No. Human beings real- human beings ingest a credit card a week in plastic. That's according to an uh, another uh, sponsor. Yeah. Blue Land. <laughs> wow. Blue b- wait, who? Blue Who's Land. Sponsor? They want they make reusable products. So all of your stuff like they make a reusable dis- soap dispenser, reusable water bottles, reusable all this stuff. And and I as someone who cares a lot like you, this is going to actually bother you now that I've said it out loud. I probably shouldn't have a said credit it. Credit card a week, like eight pounds of dirt before you die. I've heard this. Yeah, a credit card a week. That's like, <laughs> what is that before you die? That's a lot of. It's a lot of credit cards. A lot of plastic. Credit cards. Credit card. Credit card. I don't you even have them. that many credit cards, which is why I don't know why I keep. Yeah, I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and I'm in someone else's house and I'm just going through their wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night. I'm just like, ha, ha. <laughs> I got to pull that sucker out. That's tough. It's That's tough. That's tough. That magnetic strip. Gets oh my gosh. Chewy. Forget about yeah. it. The, the, ch- the chips. Oh, they Once will they get started oh. putting the chips in them. That's when, that, That's that, when my it, whole habit shifted. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. It's so hard not to. Yeah. Um, let's talk about five more minutes. Let's start with the hot take where we share exactly how we felt about this movie. I always start with you, Panda, yeah. and you've been doing okay this week with yeah. your hot takes. Thank you. I think this is your chance to go it's from to okay shine. to fantastic with your hot take on this okay, movie. What do you think about five more minutes, buddy? Uh, listen, uh, Nikki, Nikki crushes it. She does a wonderful job. Uh, and uh, the plot is uh interesting enough guys i've said this before though i don't like big sads unless uh, you do <laughs> unless i do because like your your top movies yeah have my sads. top movies okay my top movies have some sads yeah but it, overall there's got to be a vibe of positivity uh and this this one gives me uh more sads than big ups and so i'm <laughs> i'm i'm down on this one just a little bit. It's, more it's, sads than big ups. But so it's, I'm down still, on it's still one. one of the it's still one of the better ones we've had on the, this year. Put that on the DVD <laughs> box. Yeah. More more sads than big ups. So I'm down on this one. Yep. That's I said. Deck the hallmark. I said it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's quite the turnaround you did there. That's quite it. a soundbite. Yeah. yeah. But you uh, said it's one of the better ones. It's one of the better ones for right now. <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying. But, so <laughs> where's it going to end up for you right now? Like on um, your on your ranking? It's probably seven or eight. Okay. All right. That's not, that's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, Michael, I know you watch these movies all the time. You have them on 24-7 at your house. Um, so this is just another day. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. what do you think about this one? How did it hold up for you? Five more minutes. Well, you know, as we discussed, I'm predisposed to um, to be really into it because uh, of my buddy Nikki um, is the lead. And I am a sucker for a, a, a time uh, travel kind of thing. Did I lose you guys? No, nope, I'm right here. I just We're went together. We went, we went full screen. A, a time travel, like Mitch album, five more minutes, like Mitch album had a book, right? Something like five more minutes or yeah. sure. five minutes in heaven. Is that the one? No, this is five Mitch minutes album. Se- yeah. Oh, I know the one here. I'm, I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. And, um, and so I, I, I was, I was on board for this. I appreciate, um, the sentiment. I don't need, I don't need big ups all the time. Mm. I need, um, I more enjoy and more prefer to watch people navigate emotions. I don't need those emotions to always be or lead to uh, a big, uh, satisfying, fulfilling up, um, if, if that's what we're going to call it. Uh, so I really appreciate the different generations working through them. Nikki's character, her mom's character, um, trying to figure out... Um, the, you know their 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 hearts and 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 um and where they're headed next in life and so yeah I I I, I and and then add that little extra mysterious the the Hallmark movies and mystery element of the the time travel uh, grandfather thing who's yeah like I am I am right for the taking for that I am the audience for that I love those things did uh did you see it coming when Jay walked in like at what point did you have a, a you know I once they started doing the flashbacks and, and you never see his face, face yeah. I, yeah that, that <laughs> for me, but I didn't care so I was waiting for it and for me the character Alex I think is the actor's name he was so well cast I really liked him a lot um just something about his eyes and his smile. Um, it really worked for me. And at the end when he said, I don't know. I, I, yeah. So I guess I saw it coming, but we see a lot of these movies yes. coming, right? And we yeah. don't care. That's why mm-hmm. we watch them. Um, and so, yeah, I saw it coming, but I didn't care at all. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. He walked in and I said, I think that might be his grandpa. And, yep. I, was, and I, I looked at you and I said, well, they're not showing his face in the flashbacks. So, so yeah. But yeah. did that stop me from giving a standing O when she started looking at the pictures? No. no. I stood up and I said, yeah. Five more <laughs> minutes. I, uh, I, I really, really like this movie. Um, there's a lot. Here's the thing again about, about Nikki is there are things that are said in this movie. Like when she runs out at the end, uh, once she sees the pictures and she does this big speech to the sky mm. and the country music is playing and you're like, this isn't going to work, but there's something about the way that she does it. That's so mm-hmm. genuine. And it's so good because it's not necessarily, uh, what I would consider like a, a perfectly written scene. Like it felt a little hokey, cheesy, all of that, like in that moment, but it really worked with her. Um, really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's up there towards the top for me. Um, I, 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 I got a standing O. I cheered. Um, didn't cry, but I could have if I wanted. If Dan wasn't sitting next to me and just like I was ruining everything for you, you're ruining everything for me as you usually do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really like this movie. A uh, bit big ups. Big ups. Big ups. Big ups for you. Mm -mm. I wish I had me a fast forward button is what I wish. Listen, here's the thing. I want to be very clear. This movie is a train wreck. And and it's one of the reasons it is is because there's a lot of storylines happening here and none of them are really fully realized. And so the impact of this, this, you know, granddaughter, grandfather relationship gets undermined by all of this other stuff that just seems to get in the way of that uh also like on the page and describing it it's really schmaltzy and not in like a a good hallmark way it really just feels saccharine and just like unearned and there's no twist in this and it's just it just came across as weird and i got like cringe cringe feels you know like very like cringe chills almost having said all of that i don't know how she does it Mm -hmm. but nikki deloach somehow uh brings sincerity to this saccharin like she brings like some legitimate integrity to a movie that is just a big eye roll if if it were not for her presence if there were a lesser leading lady in this movie i think all of us are are thinking this movie's an eye roll i i I honestly believe that if the if she's not in this movie it is probably at or near the bottom five for me and her performance in this movie, the, t- the scene you're talking about, which I said while we're watching the movie, I said, this scene is patently absurd and poorly written, and Nikki Deloach is crushing it. Like she's making, you know, lemonade out of lemons or whatever you want to call it. That's what she's doing here. And her performance vaults this movie out of kind of the bottom of the season mm-hmm. for me and gets it somewhere in the middle purely based on what she's able to do. It, it is it is unbelievable to me. And I'm sure, Michael, you've been in situations where you read the page and you're like, oh boy, how are we going to make this work? And and, and you and you find a way to, to make it work or you leave going, man, I hope that worked. I, I wonder how it goes later. But it's just like Nikki doesn't, like she can't, she, does, she doesn't stop never stopping. You know, she just always finds this way to bring this incredible beauty and integrity to what she does. Um, but like, I thought like the taking the reins movie, I thought that movie had a lot more integrity than this movie did. This movie just feels like it's just going for the, the, the feels jugular and it, it never lets any story coalesce. Like they're searching for this woman. They're reading the old letters. There's this dude who turns out to be the grandpa. She's, you know, trying to break up with her one boyfriend. She's got the high school sweetheart. I feel like there were maybe one or two, too many storylines here. Mm. And, and it just kind of was schmaltzy and, and weird, but Nikki, Nikki still makes it work. And, and, and I still had feels in the movie. So there is that. I think also the, the emotional part of this watching it is knowing Nikki, knowing yeah. what she's yes. been going Her through story. in the last couple of months and then watching this movie. It's just mm. a yep. lot of layers there. And yeah, so for sure. uh, it was beautifully uh, done uh, by her in that regard. Uh, let's talk about I mean, all the feels. Is, yeah, go ahead. She is the, the, the strongest weapon in the Hallmark arsenal. Yes. Nikki, hands down, no one can do what she is doing. Mm. She, for every reason you guys just said, she, she, uh, is incapable of delivering anything um, subpar, but not even the bar is that low, like anything other than excellent. Mm. She will take any moment, if it's not working on the day, like when I'm on set with her, if it's not working, if it's like, guys, this is this is bizarre. How did this make it through all the, the edits? What are we doing? 
we stop like let's turn this into something that makes sense mm. and that feel that can even just we can say the words and it can feel human and real and once you get once once we get that fence out of the way if you just make it i mean she will bring human and real she can bear her heart so effortlessly i mean it, the greats make it look effortless and and she is certainly one of the greats and um she makes everyone is is um everyone is floored watching her everyone enjoys watching her because she makes it look effortless she's she the is. hallmark queen in our opinion yep she, she is, is yeah. the, she, she does is. She, she does a great job the, yeah I, I will say, yeah. though, that's not what you said before you started shooting, but good save. Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah. You, you nice. made it seem yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. You made yes, it seem like real. Guys, you can't do that while <laughs> we're in the middle of the... Can you cut that out? I'll, cut, I'll, cut, that out. I'll, I'll cut that out for sure. I'll cut that out for sure. That's on day. That's on me, man. No, my agent said they, they told you to yeah. never do that again. I know they did. <laughs> After last time... I can't believe you're back on with us. You're gracious to be back right now. That's right. <laughs> you were uh, you were down for quarterly uh, uh, ready time, but not anymore. Yeah. No more coming no, by every like You just you broke the trust. That's, right. that's, that's on, trust that's on you, dude. Um, it not, I'm gonna send you a I'm gonna send you a Christmas card to make up for things. I love it. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> um, let's go to the, all the fields. It's part of the show we talk about what in this movie gave us feels. Panda. Yeah, that, how about the ending? Uh, I, I, but how about let me, it? Let me, before she goes out and does the big speech at the sky, which is wonderful, I actually like the scene before the country music hits where she's just having those final five minutes with Grandpa. With, with Jay, yeah. Yeah, with Jay. I love that scene. Uh, that that got me. Uh, it's uh, really sweet. Uh, and then as he starts crying, just, think, you know, sharing just the whole storyline and, and and he he's getting stirred with emotion man i really love that um i, I actually really liked jay was a little creepy uh, you her uh to, young jay yeah young, young jay creepy. was dead like that was another thing that kept taking me out of this is like the performance is there well hold it, on i'm not done just, with what i'm saying oh. he's a little creepy but i liked him i liked him i liked him a lot <laughs> And I want more creepy Jay in my life. It's uh, a weird sense. What do you mean? What made loud? him creepy to you? He just uh, he, there was some vibes, man. It was kind of I a, don't know. A head tick and a smile, kind yeah, of. Yeah, like, just if I had known it was the grandpa, I he he struck me as somebody uh, who, who's maybe a serial killer. Like no. he's yeah, a little bit. Not my. Bit. I loved him. I loved from him. a different time to me. I, whatever it was, yes, there was there was some sort of vibe that I got from him, but. It, uh, I don't know. It, it 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 added up to me. It easily added up to him being from a different time. That's my. That's how my yeah. brain, my heart, made sense of that. Okay, I, I like that. I, I think my heart wasn't quite there. Uh, just with but him, you didn't I like him. I, I didn't hate him. I loved him. More of him. Uh, you want more creepy Jay in your life? I want more creepy Jay in my life. I don't know what clear. to tell you. That's yeah. just where I'm at with this movie. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna call this guy uh, uh, and say, "Hey, can you show up? You just, just be like, here and stare at me Outside the weirdly. window of yeah. Panda's house and just get. I want to see little... like the breath on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, five more minutes with him, uh, Michael. What are you? What are you feeling? What gave you the feels? Oh man, you know when. <sighs> Oh, Nikki, when she went her line with everyone deserves to feel everyone deserves to know that they're loved that like, oh, my. I mean, she just she's one of the greats. She steps up and she lays that out there in the way she does. Like she's that slayed that slayed. I think I, I remember that line specifically because that was tremendous. Of course, the last scene that the, the, the denouement there where where um, she's talking to the grandfather and, um, and to Jay. Yeah, that that was beautiful. But like a moment the one specific small moment is when she said yeah, mm. no everyone deserves to know that they are loved uh, mm. that's just a be it's a beautiful line and it's just a, a walk off grand slam by nikki yeah fantastic yeah, yeah. Uh, all of what you said is correct so i'm going to go yeah. to a different part which was uh her walking into the classroom early in this movie gave me feels because i think we all have that one teacher that we think of that's like that teacher knocked out of the park. They were excited about teaching. Mm -hmm. And then to see her go back into her classroom where she fell in love with art and decided she wanted to be a teacher later on in the movie, uh, it, it gave me feels. Uh, teachers, uh, I was a teacher and I shouldn't have been. Uh, so to know teachers uh, that are meant to be, they were created to be teachers. Uh, thank you for uh, teaching uh, because it's a really, a really hard, hard job. Uh, Dan? Um, yeah, I... All of the you know scenes you guys have mentioned, like Nikki does a great job. Um, the rest of the rest of it was varying degrees of success for me. But weirdly enough, 
the first scene in this movie with the kid and the grandpa is mm. is the scene that that really after that scene happens i thought this movie was just going to be an absolute banger like that scene i my grandfather w- was one of my favorite christmas at my grandfather's house like he passed away in 2015 christmas at my grandfather's house some of my favorite memories on the planet um and, and that scene just utterly just got me and, and i w- so i think maybe part of my issue with the movie is is that that seemed to be a through line that i wanted more of and mm-hmm. i felt like we spent a lot more time searching for a, a, an old woman and and having this love triangle and i didn't care about those things mm-hmm. because i thought that the through line of the grandfather and the kid the the little girl in that scene sometimes you know Hallmark child actors are just there to read and move on. This little girl did a great job. The guy who plays the grandpa, he's in a thousand of these Hallmark movies. He was wonderful. He was wonderful, and I, the scene was just so authentic and 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 great. And I and the movie never matched that, in my opinion. Nikki's performance did. The rest of the movie never matched what we got there. That scene got me. That scene was a really great scene. Let's take one more quick break. Okay. We'll come back and we'll get to the Wait Watts. We're going to find out any more about the turtles. What's um, going on there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's in the mailbox. Okay. We'll find out. Fair enough. Here on Dr. Homer. Nothing about the turtles. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. But you I read do the have, whole document. <laughs> <I> read, <laughs> you pulled it out, read the whole document. <laughs> Guys, when you are... <laughs> When you're as good as I am at reading. You're like a supercomputer. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you pu- pulled yeah. out no less than 300 well, words. Hold on. And you went, no turtles here. I hold on. It. Hold on. It does say, uh, <laughs> I like turtles. The there. It does say, I like turtles there on the back. <laughs> on the back. Okay, good. I good, like good. turtles. All right. um, I also really like BetterHelp. BetterHelp mm. is fantastic. BetterHelp um, is uh, around whenever you need it because during the holiday season, maybe some things are tricky for you. Uh, maybe the holiday blues, they're a real thing. And uh, maybe you need somebody to talk with. BetterHelp is there for you. You can start communicating in under 48 hours um, after they match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Uh, BetterHelp has been helping people, uh, over 2 million people have uh, used BetterHelp. They're fantastic, and you can use it from the comfort of your own home however you want to, whether it's just through um, typing or uh, audio or even a video chat. BetterHelp is there for you. And uh, you can go to betterhelp.com slash hallmark. Uh, that is H-E-L-P slash hallmark uh, to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. That is betterhelp.com slash hallmark to get uh, matched with a, a therapist they have a uh, they have licensed therapists in every single state here in the US so go to betterhelp.com slash homer for 10% off your first month today welcome back everybody oh, welcome it's back good everybody to be here Ugh. Yeah, it was a nice little breather we got there. Uh, yeah, was nice. Wasn't that good? good. I feel wasn't refreshed. That good? We, had a little, we had a little tea time with Rady while, while we no, were playing we were the breaks. Now. It was wonderful. The next bit. What yeah. type of tea? It was a chamomile. Interesting. Chamomile, yeah. chamomile and did tea. he spill the tea? Uh, he did. All kinds did. of it. Yeah, I wow. did. Some drama on the Chicago Med set. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He and Oliver Platt got into a, uh, it was a rap battle, I believe. A rap I know battle. I don't know I'm not supposed to say anything, but that's what happened. And <laughs> we may or may not have a clip later on that we're, that he is teasing us right now. So we'll see what happens. Do you guys remember everything you signed beforehand? Do you guys <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't have sent us the clip. I mean, that's on you. You shouldn't have sent us the clip. That was a weird move. Say, we can't talk about this, but I do want to show you this. That's uh, fair. That's fair. I got the clip. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. It's going to get shady. Uh, it's gonna get shady. Lake Placid coming at you. Beethoven coming at you. I got all these titles. What you gonna do? Snatch you. Rady's here on the Chicago Man. After this rap, he's gonna end up dead. Oliver Platt comes here to stay. Rady comes in for 10 eps and walks Go, away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go, Rady. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm getting something thrown to me here, folks, but I don't know what else to do here because I, I can't speak. I can't even rap, and it's it's early in the week, and, and what am I supposed to do? I don't even sweat and fret, and boys, let's call it because I can't turn any more red than this. Oh, man. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm sorry we played I'm that sorry clip. We I'm did sorry we played that, that clip. I promise you wouldn't do that also. Yeah. I promise you wouldn't put me on the spot. Man. Oh, man. I'm Is sorry. it hot? Like, who turned the heat up? Is it <laughs> The sweater's looking great. Uh, let's talk. Wait, what? Let's and talk Oliver about. Platt's got some bars. He does. Oh, wow. He is. Uh, he is good. savage. Kind he of is savage. Really he is. Yeah. yeah. You saw really the good. clip. You saw the clip. Um, let's get to the wait what a part of the show. We talk about what this movie made us go. Wait, what? Panda. What? What? What did it for you? My biggest wait what is just the way they portray North Carolina uh, in this in this movie. Uh, it, a lot of snow. A lot of snow for a place that <laughs> yeah. doesn't yeah. get that much. Yeah. Uh, Durham Fayetteville area may get a little bit more than than we get like Char and like near us Charlotte Asheville, but it's not going to be blanketed with snow for weeks no, at a time. Um, no, it's world. not. And I think that that leads to my other wait. What? Which is is the country song at the end. It's a good song. Great song, yeah, but great. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great for a Hallmark for a Hallmark movie. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's not yeah. a bad song, right? It's okay. <laughs> what? what do you are think? Are you guys country people? You guys are country I, music people? I listen to more country. I'm not. You none listen of us to more than music, But I like country music more than these other two in the fact that, like, you know, Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson, Zach Brown bands. Like, there, yeah. there are bands I like that are country musicians. These guys don't listen to any of it. I, I've never really liked Scotty McCreary, so maybe that's just a problem. I, I just feel like, for me, the, the, the song was so jarring for the, the vibe of the movie. It just did not have a country music vibe at all. We've no. not taught country music. We've not discussed. And then all of a sudden, that song hits, and it is, it is jarring. It, and I feel like it's mismatched to the scene in some ways. The um, only thing like country about the whole movie. Like no one even tries with a Southern accent. Nikki right. has a very nice, cause she's from Georgia. Right. Nikki has a very nice, like just subtle Southern mm -hmm. accent anyway, which works really well in this movie. And, 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 but no one else even tries on that front. Right. At all. Like it doesn't feel like it is set in North Carolina at all. It right. doesn't earn that in my opinion. Yeah. My, my only other way, what is no one had a picture of young Jerry up to this point? Like no one could, <laughs> like no one has a picture of young Jerry. She's literally the whole movie. Like, like this guy looks, no, he looks just, like, I, just, I, can't yeah. pour, I can't pick him yeah. out. Like we don't on, have a single, on. we don't have a single picture of my grandfather before the age of 68. It's wild. I, it's, it's so just, crazy. I am just lost. They just don't have that. one. Doesn't have one. Not at all. <laughs> Average snowfall every year in Fayetteville is 1.8 inches. So Total. It's tough. Okay. <laughs> so the it's done. More, there more, it is. more than what we got. Well, that's tough. Uh, Rainey, what, what you yeah. got, buddy? I mean, you panda nailed it my, with my, that was my main one. Well, like, uh, but I was going to yield to you guys. You guys are from that. You guys know the, 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 the deal down there, but I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not the Durham area. That can't be, <laughs> that can't be right. Um, but <laughs> Brandon, I loved your uh, and your synopsis uh, she, when she realized she was about to get proposed to, and then she pivoted <laughs> by opening her mail. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> that is like. What do I have around me? Like anyone else is like, I'm going to go to the restroom. She's like, mail, mail time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Mail is here. It never fails. It makes me want to <laughs> wag my tail. They may as well have had a Western Union person come in and be like, Telegram <laughs> for Mr. Loach. Or that mailbox right there could have been right, right. next yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's oh, like, oh, what's what this? this? Oh, I've been fired. <laughs> Nothing about turtles. She gets a letter from the district, doesn't open it right away, keeps it in her purse, and then it's like, now's the time. Oh, I've been fired. This yeah. worked out well for yep. me. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Uh, is is yeah. that all? Is that all you got, Michael? Yeah, those, yeah, those, those, those are the right. Those are those are my. Yeah, Brand's gonna take the biggest one in the movie. I can't believe these. Well, two guys what, didn't what, take what, what? I don't. Maybe know. you we'll won't see. take it. Um, I'm confused <laughs> at how Teacher of the Year works. Um, at the school or yeah. in this district, they 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 show four different teachers of the year. So on the wall, and then she says, "I'm one of the teachers of the." I'm. I. I don't know. Someone in the chat said it was yearly, but I don't think it is. I. Do you know I've been nominated for teacher of the year in South Carolina? Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, that's a true story. Um, and as a teacher of the year nominee, I can tell you that I have no idea how it works. But there is only one teacher of the year. It is not a four or five for a district. At least in South Carolina, it's not. As the title would lead you to believe, yeah. yes, right? teacher yes. of the year. I I believe she literally says uh, one of the teachers of the year. She does like say I, that in like, the movie. She says but one. I of. mean, maybe I am. I'm maybe she's referring to I'm one of uh, the people from, who holds the title yes, of teacher of, of the year. Years I teach, past, I teach during the year. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I, I am one of the teachers of this school year. Of yes, year. yes. In this country, you you could call me a, a teacher of the year. Yes. Yes, you could. <laughs> you could. Boy, yes. I'm going to start using that. Uh, me too. I'm a teacher I'm of the year. I'm a teacher guys. of the year 2021. <laughs> <laughs> um. She uh, is sitting down with some uh, hot chocolate. Now, this hot chocolate has whipped cream and sprinkles on. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, pretty mm-hmm. delightful. Looks one. wonderful. Candy and candy I, believe, uh, I believe it's Blake that says this to her, but I could be wrong. But he says, you, you look like a teenager. I, I don't know. Like, what, what is it about? That's just a nice hot chocolate. I don't think teenagers hold the rights to whipped cream with sprinkles. I think this is you talking. No, I think, yeah, maybe the problem it is. is they're ordering cocktails and she orders hot chocolate with extra whipped cream. And the joke is, is this is what a teenager would do at a place where you're supposed to order cocktails. If, uh, and now what you're saying is, is if that's wrong, you don't want to be right. That's exactly yeah. right. And how do we know that? How do we know that that hot chocolate's not spiked? Yeah. Huh? We don't know. We're not privy to that information. <laughs> you feel attacked personally. Here. Yes. If that's what makes you a teenager, then call me a teenage dirtbag, baby. <laughs> we will. The, we all went out. What? No. We all went out to eat uh, to celebrate the launch of our book. And we all got a drink. And Bran ordered a chocolate martini. That's what he ordered with dinner. That was his, his go I had another drink before that. I don't remember what it was, but the chocolate martini is memorable. But uh, the other one, not so much. Um, no, judgment. no judgment here. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds mm. delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Um, I, listen, I, I'll, I, uh, she's incredibly lucky that her grandpa came back as Jay, because if not, no one would have seen that help wanted sign. There's not a prayer. No world. It, it was covered up, I think, by something. You could have, se- you With, could have seen yeah. uh, Elp Anted. Yeah, Elp Anted. <laughs> like, What's uh. Elp Anted? I don't understand what that is. Some live. It's wild. Um, uh, Wait, I, I'm sorry. I did, I, I, I did remember. I, this made me think. I don't know why this made me think of it. But when he, when he said, um, when he offered to fix her gingerbread house and that turned into a date, that was... That was optimistic, at least. I don't know. If I, <laughs> I haven't been in the dating game in a while. But I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Like I saw this in the, on a Hallmark movie once. Let me try this. <laughs> That was optimistic. <laughs> yeah. I haven't li- asked a lot of women out on dates, but I imagine that uh, it would take a lot of asking to get to the, can I help fix your gingerbread room? That's right. Help <laughs> yeah. fix your gingerbread house? Yes. Yeah. Quite the quite the line. It's you see, I line. thought that was that was a pretty strong game he was throwing. Yeah. <laughs> there you yeah. have it. That shows you what we all know. Yeah. <laughs> I think the the three of us have been married for like a collective like twenty five or thirty years. <laughs> yeah. We don't, know, we don't know what we're talking about. No, we don't. Nice, no, nice actors. work, dude. Gingerbread, nice. You're, <laughs> you're licensed and bonded. That. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> licensed yeah. and bonded. I don't um, know what the kids are doing these days. That was genius. That was yeah, great. That wow. was great. Keep it up. Yeah. And then, oh, who is it that says this? I believe it's. Uh, Yes, it's is her it mom. Cup of coffee. Yeah, this is the her, one. So her mom walks in. This is unreal. The day, the day <laughs> after uh, Nikki gets there, she's working, and the mom gets to come into the candy shop a little bit late, yeah. and she says, it, "I can't remember the last time I drank the entire cup of coffee." <laughs> she acts like. <laughs> How busy are you? She acts like drinking a cup of coffee is summiting a peak that very few. Did the did, whole cup? Have you lost your mind? Did you not know? Has no one told you you could take that sucker to go? I, you can drink it wherever. She is, I can't remember the last time I drank an entire cup of coffee. Like they're supposed you, to be little sips. Yeah. Like you're just supposed to have a sip of coffee. And I went for the whole eight ounces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Man, uh, uh, we, we, why well, that? I can't I believe can't that remember. was a line in this movie. I remember the last time I drank the whole cup. Of the whole cup, man. You go. coffee holic, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. But she should. Someone should uh, keep Jeez. an eye on her because if she hasn't done that in a while, it could be a tough day. It could be a tough day for her. Yeah, well, uh, Dan. <laughs> I just it's scary wa- for the people around her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to know. I had a cup of coffee. Whoa, a cup of coffee. Mm. They're making that in full cups now? This is crazy. You get a candy cane. You get a candy cane. Mom, you're giving away the whole stack. I had a cup of coffee. Our long nightmare is over. The coffee shortage has ended. <laughs> we can all have full cups of coffee now. Um, I just want to know what Nikki Deloach... 
uh, thinks being a good girlfriend is because she's the worst to this guy. <laughs> uh, like the, I get it. I understand it, you're not clicking, but you guys are adults. Maybe have a conversation because this guy, by all intents and purposes, is the salt of the earth human being. He seems great. I mean, looking out for her, teaches with her, supports yeah. her vision, her dreams, like like thinks of things that she loves, is thoughtful, and she does not have the time of the day for this guy. In fact, so much so that she has been in Fayetteville for over a full day, and he just now texts her, did you arrive safely? <laughs> a day after she gets there, and she's like, yeah, and just keeps moving yeah. on with her life. <laughs> These two have been in a long-standing relationship. She doesn't tell him she's arrived safely in New York from Chicago or New York or wherever it is, and then continues on her life, and then just bails on this guy and doesn't have time for him at every turn of this movie. Mm -hmm. Like, at some point, at some point, you just need to be honest and be like, hey, mm -hmm. we, we don't need to be together. And the fact that that doesn't happen makes me like, because normally they make these Baxters, these boyfriends at the beginning, terrible people. And so you don't care what happens to them. But this guy's a really great guy. And you're just leading him on. And it, it doesn't it doesn't work too terribly well because of that. Um, this guy wrote a journal in, you know, 50 plus years ago. And back then, journals were hard to come by. We didn't have the note app, you know, in mm -hmm. the in the fifties and sixties. The monk, um, the monk, the monk. Journal. Yeah, yeah, we the we didn't journal. have right. the ability to write down all of our feelings all the time. It was you, you know, you had pen and paper, limited space. And he is going broad, broad stroke, double space in his journal, and it is a, it's a bold decision. I don't know if I've ever seen. Uh, when my grandfather died, we had all these old letters that he had sent my grandma from when he was uh, off in Vietnam. And like everybody is using that space like it is the 1960s. Like that's what they're doing. Like single, this guy is big, broad strokes, six words a line, giant chunk space in between. Like he wants to make sure you can read every letter individually. It's a double space journal. And, and I, I found it to be a bold choice for, for 60 years ago. I gonna, feel like you had a lot of journals back then. No, my, grandfather's, my grandfather's airmail letters from World War II had um, blue blue ink, um, single space blue ink going one way, and then turn the page ninety degrees oh, or, on the sides. Uh, yeah, ninety, 90 degrees, degrees, and then a different color ink across that way, so you could get everything on everything one page. into it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying if you're journaling in the 1960s, you're not doing twenty words a page. You're, you are. You know, and, you're and, never going to save the they, turtles with that waste. Yeah, you're not. You're not. No. And you're going to the credit you're card not. consumption is going through the oh roof. But the other thing is, is they act like it's a page turner of a journal and it's taking them all movie to finish at the rate of double <laughs> space. You could read all that in a half an hour. Like it is just not. She's like, I never finished the journal. He said, what at the end? How did you not get there? You're on a full road trip the whole time. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, the biggest crime of this movie is, is I believe Nikki and her mom start uh, putting lights on a tree and they start in the middle. Ugh. Yeah, it's What weird. is your plan there, Chief? You started in the middle. <laughs> what are you going to do? And then they brag about being good at it. What's the next move when you have two strands in the stomach of that tree? Going opposite is, directions. How are you going to plug them all in? I don't. What is your big plan? You've got nothing. Well, you but have then, shot but they, yourself in the foot before you started. They had them plugged in. That's you, the thing, too. They had them plugged in. So you plug in, and then you just go, you go uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. recklessly up the tree straight. And so then you, you start go down, down, and then you double up yeah, back it's, through? It, it's just you're setting yourself up for there a is, long day. There is it's not. Advised, yeah, it's it, conceived there, how to do one. It's just strategically, you've, you've, you've painted yourself into a corner there. Are, you, uh, are you top down, or are you bottom up? Bottom up. I'm a top easy. down guy. I'm a top down guy. That's explained top so down. freaking much. I'm a top down guy. So much. And you, you travel. You travel your power supply to the top. No, you plug then, it in at the bottom. You just you don't plug it in until you finish yeah. lighting them. But so, you always just stop. So I leave that top line. that end with the, the 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 female part of the outlet. I leave it at the top. Right, and I just go down, plug them in, wrap, 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 plug into the bottom. You're a monster. Well, see, I, I string, I string lit, I string. You string, you string lit. lit. I also string lit. lit. You string lit. I string lit because no, that's I how think, I. It's how no. I test the the, For me, the lights. For I you can't. Of course, I test the lights beforehand. But there's something about putting it, turning it on after they're all 
on the tree that is important. This, to me. So here's what we so do. I string here's what we do. I wanted the big reveal. Now, here's what we do. Tree prelit, so you're not in yeah, the you're my, I have a, I have a prelit. You're, not, you're a Christmas monster. Uh, Go ahead. So I, I I string it lit and then I turn it off and then we put the ornaments on and then you do it, plug it in, and you have the big reveal. I just I, yes. I can't string it lit. I, that's where it, and it, it, you know what? If I strung it lit, I would maybe I would have to go You'd bottom have to. up. Yeah, but I'm a top down. Well, then you really get a sense for like how it you looks. Know, oh, this space. Yeah, yeah. I can I can lay another level in. Yeah, yeah I always man. pre lit. We always should all we should all live stream each other lighting the trees together, guys. Guys, I, can I? I need to um I need to give you guys a quick little update on on um the Rady household this year. Oh, so please. for years now, after Christmas seasons of cursing and shouting and slamming <laughs> tangle balls of broken Christmas lights on the front lawn and ju just a, becoming a mess of a human being, I have finally gotten all new Christmas lights. Wow, LED ones. Oh Lord, man, they were they were just filling the shelves up in the store. I'm talking like mid October, and I'm always the one who's like, "Oh, these people buying their Christmas decorations <laughs> in October." Yeah, I was passing and I saw them, and they the, the LED ones sell out in about 11 seconds. Man, and so no one had touched the, all of the Christmas stuff yet. <laughs> I went in and spent. I so much money, but they're going to last me. They're going to save the turtles. That's right. They're going to last mm. me for a hundred years. We guys. need a pick. That's great. We need a pick. We, we got to have one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about a hundred years, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> last but not least, um, this woman is an art teacher. She teaches art all day long, which in elementary school means you teach the entire school K to five art. Yeah. That's what you do. They bring them in for 35, 40 minutes, yeah. teach art. Every kid gets to meet the art teacher, has the art teacher, whole thing. This dude says, I found you a job teaching second grade <laughs> history and English. Now, why did you bother to find her that job? Mm -hmm. That is not what she does for a living. To say that all elementary school teachers can just teach any elementary school kid is offensive to an art teacher who went and got a degree to teach art. Yeah. Like what, you know, listen, and then he you, doubled down and he says, teaching is teaching, teaching which is, is teaching one of those. If you needed any more proof that that guy's a PE teacher, look no yeah. further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a PE teacher. <laughs> I got this man. I got a teacher's teacher. Yeah, okay. right? You can teach anything. You just kind of throw words up there. You say, you Hey, go. throw some Kool-Aid and graham crackers at him. It may as well be three o'clock. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but I, I like him. him a lot. White light or multicolor. <laughs> Uh, oh God, no! Always white light. Always wow. Warm, warm, warm white. He warm said, warm. "God no!" Like <laughs> like you were a monster if you put no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's always how we were raised, right? My neighbors, my best friend across the street, they had the the multicolor, yeah, and that was it. Felt so right and real for them, and we always had the white light. That's, right. That's just how I we grew up, and so. To think like putting a colored strand of my dad now finds like, oh, I found this cool like LED laser thing. I was like, dad, what are you? You're everything I have ever known. What are you doing? This doesn't work. You can't do this. Yeah. I, there's few things in life that make my blood boil more than those little things that you put in the, the your yard and you just point it at the house and it puts a little, bunch of dots on the side of the house. <laughs> yes. Like somebody just went up with splatter paint, just, hey, let's go, let's have fun. That's not Christmas lights. I love it. I'm it's not it. Christmas light, lights. Light well, hack. It looks like Christmas lights now, doesn't it, Brandon? It just no. looks like Christmas lights. I hate everything. I, about I love it. I'm I'm glad you did. It's a it's a plug and so play. So fun. It's a plug and it play. It is not fun. No one's going to confuse the, it for professional, but it's a plug and play. You in plug the, it in, you're done. That's great. It's like uh, the, they, it's just it's like looks like a uh, 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 Halloween horror nights or something. I hate it. Halloween horror yeah. nights. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a oh, thing yeah. at Universal Studios or Orlando. Universal, <laughs> inflatables or no inflatables? What are we thinking? Uh I the, I I can't stand inflatables, but I, I mean, love, this is like a, its own podcast. He hates is. inflatables. He's but, medium on them. He but he, them. Panda uh, um, is a big Panda inflatable. I boy. love inflatables. I just bought my new one for this year. Pretty excited about it. Are you adding one every year? Is that oh, for sure. Doing? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Pretty so excited it's, it's about it. it's a tradition it. with you and your daughter, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, get out she, of hand she picked, uh, I'm here for it. She picked a minion this year. Pretty yeah. excited about it. Gonna, <laughs> Christmas minion. Christmas minion. That and uh, Catboy. From uh, PJ Masks, we, we might get two this year. You did two. I might do and two. And it's going to be Catboy and a Minion. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, if there's two things that will stand the test of time, 
Cat it boy is a minion and, and a cat boy. Yeah. <laughs> I plan on having them for the next 50 years. People will be very confused. Yeah, they will. <laughs> dome, 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 it's dome, a PJ Masks. That song dome, is a dome, banger. Dome, dome. <laughs> and, uh, no, no. Brandon, are you, uh, are you an inflatable or a... Um, I actually, for a, for a long time, I've just been straight up, straight up lights. Like, let's do lights. I'm a white light kind of guy. Although if I'm, I, 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 there's something incredibly classic about the old big bulb colored lights. Sure. But the yeah. LED, the LED doesn't give me that same type of uh, feeling. No. And if you go big bulb, you'll, you will die, I think at this point. And so, um, I'm a white light guy, no inflatables, but I've kind of grown. They've grown on me weirdly. I see people yeah. with a lot of inflatables and I'm like, you guys are fun. Yeah. You're fun. No, it's fun. Inflatable bit. Curious, are you? I'm a little curious. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm a, a, a inflatable, uh, cur- curious, curious, uh, dipping your uh-huh. toe into the water of the I, and, and the inflatable. Yeah. Uh, let's get to what the homework It's part of show. We wonder what happened. Maybe happened. Gives clear questions that we still have. Uh, Panda, what are you still wondering about? What do you, want to know guys i have a confession to make i really like blake in this movie uh i like blake more than the lead uh I like blake more than the, logan like, the boyfriend yeah your the, team yeah, your team a, blake like he's a good guy yeah he's a good dude I, I liked him more than logan so when they broke up my heart hurt yeah uh and my heart still hurts for blake and i want to know is he okay yeah, how's he uh, doing because he i'll say this this it seemed to me like this is the first time like he is not okay after the breakup a lot of times people are just like they shake hands slap each other on the back and walk out but like he he was genuinely what kind of breakups are you using no 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 in the hallmark universe yeah. okay okay in the shake hands slap each other on the back what yeah you- just like uh <laughs> good times uh but what i would say here is uh, i just want to make sure he's okay i'd like to know who does blake end up with oh yeah just he's his heart devastated. yeah he's devastated homeboy was bowled over he was yeah. devastated yeah, crush. Definitely. Yeah, that was tough. That yeah. was tough. Uh, Rady, what are you still wondering about? What would you like to know more? Well, I want to I want to say what I think we're all thinking. My absolute least favorite thing. So it, it's also it's it, it's directed towards Hallmark. So that's why I'm putting it in here. But it's also a, a what the Hallmark guys. This this movie had the worst imaginable time slot. Ten o ten p.m. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't sure. know what like. Monster chugging, Red Bull shotgunning. <laughs> they drink the whole cup of coffee. Is what they did. Using. <laughs> Who can stay up till nine? I, I, I. That, so I'm talking to you, Hallmark. It looks like I'm talking to you, but I'm actually talking to you, Hallmark. Yeah. yeah. Staying up till midnight. Here's my. I think everything should just be it on at eight p.m. and let the chips fall where they may. You can call Amen. whatever you want. Call it communism. I don't care. <laughs> everything is on at eight o'clock, and we all just. We, let the chips fall. Michael Rady hates Oliver Platt and is a communist. That's what, that's we what I heard. Today uh, the, that's what I've heard today. Well, let me run <laughs> down yeah. really quickly a uh, theory, something I've been working on where we all go to the same time zone. No, we don't and have we time. We can talk this. about this later. We don't but, have time for it. We don't have time for but it. But I think if we would all just commit to saying it's eight o'clock right now, and then if you are in, if you're in China, you just adapt to knowing that 8 p.m. Adapt is, to America, everyone. You just get used to it. Either right? way, yeah. I don't care if we, I, well, let's just adapt to zero, 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 whatever that is. Not zero, six, zero, whatever. Like, let's just commit. Where do you think it's zero, zero right now? <laughs> you know what I'm, what I'm saying North is Pole? Eastern Standard Time is, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time is like zero, six, zero, zero. Okay. If from from where zero is, which is I think like in Russia. So let's just all Michael's be. Michael's been with us for at least three hours at this point, and he is still here. Like a, like <laughs> I'm a here. I love I love I love hanging out with you guys. This is great. This you, is everything I want to be talking. This is exactly what I want to be doing right now. Girl, I love it. You're you're with me though, right? Like let's all just. I'm with you. Yeah, thank you. I'm with you. My 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 bedtime has always been eight thirty. So at, at ten p.m. Ask guys. This to is a big start ask the movie. Ten p.m. to and, start. Multiple cups of coffee needed, oh. which would be crazy. Well, I fell asleep before it started. Yeah. And then I had to watch it the next day. That's right. Yeah. 10 p.m., guys. Get Come out on. of here. Let's forget Come about on. it. Um, so th- I wrote this down before, uh, you know, uh, being told that Jay was, in fact, the grandpa. But, but he, uh, he hands Nikki the journal and says, I didn't mean to pry. And so what that implies to me is that he did a little look, looksy daisies before mm-hmm. he gave that journal. Do you think that he read the journal? Now it doesn't matter because he is the guy, who wrote the, guy the who wrote the journal. So therefore that doesn't uh, matter. Uh, so Dan, mine was good. It's a good one. Mine. <laughs> hey guys, I got it. You took Nailed mine, it. which is, do we not have a picture of Jay 
from when he was 20 something years old, like even 30 yeah. something years old, yeah. you could probably see the. She's never seen a picture it, of him. Like the, the, and the grandpa lived in the house with the dog. Like, you know, we, that was, he had a room there. How do we not have a picture of some sort? That was, that was my what the Hallmark. Like they just think that those pictures, they're rare. I get it. They're rare when you're that young, but you typically have one or two at least. So that was all I got. Yeah. I feel like the, um, also I, you guys were hinting at this before, but with the country thing, she comes from Chicago, right? Or yeah, she comes yeah. in from Chicago. And so if they're having this opportunity, which they do often, they go from a big city to r rural community. I th since they were taking a country music song, I really think they should have landed this in a cornfield somewhere. Yeah. You know, somewhere it's Iowa or something very rural very it screams country the country song that it's based on seems germane to the setting of everything um that would have clicked a little bit more into place for me. yeah remains yeah. the worst Jermaine is the i hate that guy god. Sure, Mick, god the worst unbelievable he he does he starts from the middle yeah he does you know he does yeah, yeah, you know he does, you know he does Jermaine, you son <laughs> yeah. Of... yeah don't even and he mixes. Me. Jermaine mixes colored uh, LEDs oh, and white Dan, LEDs. Dan does I that. mix uh, multicolor <laughs> and white lights on my tree. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Is he not the worst? Can I tell you what happened, Michael, since we've only been here a few hours? Uh, I was always a multicolored light guy. My wife, always a white light girl. And yeah. we, when we got married, we, I've been married 15, 15 years. Girl. This would be the 16th <laughs> Christmas we were married together. And uh, the... Uh, she when we first got married we decided to alternate years so like one year we would do white lights and one year we would do multicolor lights and my wife i think at one point we saw some christmas tree and she was like i kind of like the idea of just as many lights like tr just trying to make the tree glow yeah. and i said if we put all our lights on there we could do it and she was like let's do it <laughs> and so like the third or fourth year we were married we put all of our lights on the tree and we loved it and so we like our tree eight foot tree over well over a thousand lights Gosh, on you're it. such a germane and, and it is fantastic it's great are there a few turtles dying maybe yeah. but the tree looks wonderful we bought the lights we may as well use them uh and, and that's where we are now i actually love that i love that that's yeah. that's a I, I, I feel like traditions really annoy me if they're not serving us today, what we do them because they worked. That's right. You get years it. Ago. Preach, Michael. So I like taking it, taking that and then making it work. And I like the, uh, imagining you guys sitting there, like finished stringing the light, you plug it in and then you both like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm right. That's exactly right. Yeah, you that's get good. it. We did it, man. I love that. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Good Michael, job. I'll turn it over to you. Anything you want to promote? Anything you want to tell the people? Uh, share them a poem? Whatever you want to do here. Oh, boy. That's... Um, I know. I got nothing. I, I'm so grateful that I get to... Uh, I think you guys are wonderful. I, I, I really... Um, I like getting to do this once a, once a whatever with you guys. I look forward to someday seeing you in person. Please. Um, Absolutely. Maybe sharing a hot chocolate or a chocolate martini mm. or a beer, whatever whatever it is we would be sharing. We got to hang out. Seriously. We got to make it happen. We're up in that. How, how far away is Connecticut from We're gonna be in uh, New Jersey? New Jersey uh, here in December. Come on far down. How far away is that? I'm like an hour and a half from New Jersey. Oh, we, we got a rental car. We're meeting. I we, like that. Uh, <laughs> here's all I want you to know, Michael. Saturday night. Uh, December 11th, Cheesecake okay. Factory in Edison, New Jersey, 6 p.m. Eastern time. You're there. We're buying. I love it. You had me at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I know I did. Yep. I know I did. A lot for yep. a vegan there at Cheesecake Factory. Essentially <laughs> 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 the vegan factory. Wow. Wow. December the 11th. December That's right. Saturday. A cheesecake factory in Edison, New Jersey. Edison, New Jersey. <laughs> that? That's where all the players play. You know that. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they call that Hollywood East, man. Edison, wow. New Jersey. But you guys are so goofy and funny, and um, I, I'm, I'm not surprised that you guys are have become the sensation that you are. I mean, so, God bless mm. you, Michael. Seriously. Thank you, buddy. You're, you're the very, best, You're man. very kind. Thank you. You're um, the best, dude. Have fun in Chicago next time you're there. Um, and um, until we see you again, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks, guys. 
Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam Podcast Network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support. Becoming your strongest financial self? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. Get it today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.